My name is Paige Vinson and I'm Director of the High Throughput Screening Corps and the Antibody and Protein Resource, both of which are in the Vanderbilt Institute of Chemical Biology. The HTS Corps provides services for assay development, screening, data management and data analysis, and instrument training. The Antibody and Protein Resource provides services for protein expression and purification and antibody production. In order for an internal or external client to request services in one of the cores, it's as simple as sending us an email to schedule a meeting and we will decide if the project is a good fit. So those email addresses are hts at vanderbilt.edu and vapr at vanderbilt.edu. In the HTS core, the equipment mimics what a bench scientist would do on, in a lower throughput. Uh, so liquid handling and detection. However, it, the equipment is designed to operate on uh, plates and in high throughput mode. So multiple wells in parallel can be processed. And the, we use robotic equipment to move these plates from one instrument to the other. And this is important uh, when we're performing screens because we uh, want consistent timing and we would like to have the, um, the staff member who is running the experiment to be able to watch over things and prepare re reagents and such. And also there are times that these things run overnight and therefore you'd like to have a robot to um, perform these experiments um, during that time. The vapor core uses both uh, conventional biochemical equipment for protein expression and purification and um, antibody production, but also uh, some more state-of-the-art equipment such as automated chromatography, uh, bilayer inferometry, and high throughput flow cytometry. We have success stories ranging from what may be considered small everyday success stories such as maybe a staff member determining an optimal expression and purification strategy for a protein that maybe an investigator's lab has struggled with for um, you know, a certain length of time. And we may have what's considered uh, larger successes or uh, successes that take a little bit longer to realize, such as a small molecule being licensed as a potential therapeutic to a pharmaceutical company. I was really excited when I saw that there was an opportunity for me at Vanderbilt. Um, you know, being able to speak with people every day who are driven by the pursuit of knowledge, as well as the desire uh, for their research to uh, benefit people, ultimately, is a very rewarding experience for me.